Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we returned the tape to Isaac and it turned out to be some kind of snuff film with some abominations with a head and two legs. They're killing everyone. Um, well, that killed a girl in the movie anyway, but it was only half a movie. Um, we looked around, asked around the sin bin. He gave the guy there, Flynn, gave us some directions about um, answering a phone call outside the 7-Eleven or whatever the fuck it's called, giving a code word, and they would lead us somewhere. We ended up inside the Internet Cafe afterwards, um, where the above area was basically the set for porn films and, I guess, snuff. Those uh, things were basically crawling around everywhere. Uh, no idea what the fuck's going on. But we managed to get a copy of the whole thing, of the of the tape, I mean. Um, and we returned back to Isaac. He said he recognized the place. It's a house out in the hills uh, on King Kingsway, I believe it was. So that's where we're going to go do. We're going to go check it out. We also did uh, the side quest for the serial killer. Uh, finally managed to close that quest off. It was basically a vampire whose wife and kids had been murdered, I guess, after he became a vampire, before he became a vampire, no idea. So he was going around murdering the people that murdered his family, and we told him he's got to stop, and he's like, I'm never going to stop, so we had to put him down. But he turned into, like, a werewolf or something like that. He might have been a gang girl, now that I think about it. Uh, basically changing shape into, like, more of a bestial form. Um... And we talked to David Hatter, uh, the guy who wrote the script about the vampire community, the kindred, our whole uh, society. And we paid a hefty fucking $500 to not only get the script, but to find his, um, his muse, the person that's been feeding him this information, a vampire named Julius, a thin blood named Julius, no less who was hanging out in the Santa Monica Pier and along with all the other Thin Bloods. When we went there, everyone else was gone except that one guy, the the stuttering guy. And we told him to basically leave and never come back. Like, otherwise, you're going to have to die. Like, that's the penalty. And we spared him, let him leave. So, yeah. Now we're actually going on to King's Way. Hop in. Oh, whoops. Kingsway. <laughs> oh. Interesting place. I'm guessing we can't go in the front door. We cannot go in the front door. We go in this way. We can also go in this way. Okay, something don't seem right. I hear a lot of flies, and I hear a lot of oh, oh, which means there's probably zombies around. Climb? We do climb. These windows. Ooh, spiral staircase. Nice view. Someone be munching. These houses do not look sturdy. Look at that one. Looks like it's about to topple over. So it looks like the girl almost made it.
Mummy fetish. Mummy wrap fetish. Healing rate duration 80%? What? Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? Gazing upon this mum mummified fetish, you feel a rush of vitality to your undead flesh. Increases passive healing rate by 20%. Oh, okay. Cool. I almost missed it, too. This definitely looks like it's a meaty place. the sound of flies man i so i hate the sound of flies so much and they're like right in my ear my ears <laughs> oh you literally came out of nowhere baby head no chicken egg I was kind of expecting a chicken egg and major props for for those of you that get that reference and shame on you for those that don't can I play the piano I mean I can play the piano but can can I play the piano in here I cannot. What the fudge is this? Why am I... Oh. Knock, knock. Oh boy. Okay, let's let's save. Ah, hello young K Knight. I see your face is not so lifeless. Your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express shock. Tell me, child, is my appearance that frightening? Or is it my knowledge of you that is so unnerving? Is that Stephen Bloom? I love Stephen Bloom's voice, man. It's like, I wish I had a voice like that. I want to smoke like 30 packs of cigarettes a day and like 20 cigars. Just have a voice like his. What the hell's going on here? This place is a madhouse. Oh, child of Cain. The sights in this haven pale in comparison to my ancestral estate. Comfort is a custom. And all of this artifice brings me closer to my home. Do not fear for my furniture, young one. You're the one who made the tape, aren't you? Oh, yes. The tape. Merely a test. Certainly not intended to fall into mortal hands. Fortunately, we are in the capital of mortal trickery and illusion. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? Well, I'm longing to kick your ass. The hell is this all about? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. Without the sewer rats to guide them. The Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. Ah, so you're one of those Sabbat assholes. And this is your plan? It is not for me. It's for the will of the Sabbat. The Camarilla is stunted. Dead and festering in the womb. Good only as pawns of the fathers. 
Even now, they answer the call of the Ancient and seek to free him from his torpor. The Ancient? He slumbers within the Ankaran sarcophagus. One of the fathers whose return shall hearken the reckoning. Kuhena is at hand, and the Camarilla are unwittingly speeding us all toward our doom. Maybe, maybe not. What about these creatures? Did you make them? Blessed creatures. I have broken through their mortal crust and drawn from them their greatest strength. Mutability. I coax a bone, weave flesh, and lay sinew tight until it strains to lash out. Where did you get the raw materials for them? Illegals. Mongols, half-bloods, and caitiff. The bane of society, kindred and kin. They are as of little consequence to authority as they are to me. It is a culling of sorts. Well, if nothing else, he's pretty efficient. These machines you create are brutal, broken, and ugly. Perhaps, but they are exquisitely functional. Still... There's an uncanny elegance to even this, my most mercenary of designs. <laughs> it's the truth, you're uglier than air. It must have been a lot of work to create these machines. Not too much for those of us able to give the gift of metamorphosis, young one. I know you have a cold appreciation for the aesthetic of my creations. I see all. And longing in your eyes. Yeah, the longing to kill you. Now, Camarilla Welp, let me see you fight your nature in the face of those who have embraced their beast. Deny yourself Cain's gifts and be torn asunder by my minions. Bring it on. Oh. The Zemitsi. Oh, I can't damage him. This guy certainly is a pain. And goodbye. Is 
that it? I didn't kill him though. say research skill of nine fuck um all right said i received a clipboard where's a clipboard Not just leave. So yeah, that fight was uh, interesting. It was annoying, but not too hard. Who's chanting? the fuck oh there's a ledge oh there's a clipboard okay this looks like the clipboard of an employee of the los angeles department of water and power spring 2004 <clears throat> initial investigations into the reports of the strange sightings in the la sewers started today entered quadrant 13 and will move into both 14 and 15 later on in the afternoon quadrant 13 seems normal Quadrant 13 checked out, but heard unidentified noises at various points in both quadrants 14 and 15. Called in a dispatch to confirm that no other inspectors were working in the area. There were none. Coordinates noted. Investigation to 16 tomorrow. Strange noises, undoubtedly some sort of animal, heard again in quadrant 16. I saw what may have been the animal at the intersection of corridors 63A and 64B, but could find nothing upon further investigation. There were strange prints in the mud on the edge of the corridor, almost hand-like, although it was difficult to make them out in the darkness. More prints found in corridor 73D. They disappeared into what looked like an entrance into an older part of the sewers. Called dispatch to see if they had blueprints of the old sewer section, but they didn't. Requested advice on how to proceed, and dispatch told me to continue with caution tomorrow. Okay, began investigation of the older part of the sewers this morning. Saw again what I believe to be an animal, although I don't know exactly how to classify it. The skin seems bare, almost reptilian. I can hear it constantly, almost as if it's following me, although the echoes down here make it impossible to gauge distance. Can't seem to raise dispatch on the radio, so unable to check in. There's a smell that has become more and more pronounced as I travel further into the old sewers. Undoubtedly, the carcass of an animal washed down here in the last big rain. Investigations continue. Found the source of the smell, and it looks to be human remains. Immediately called dispatch, but was unable to reach them. The body seems to be that of a transient, 
but there are tears, massive tears in the flesh that indicate an animal may have recently fed upon the corpse. I have noted the coordinates of the body and am returning immediately to find, report my findings. I have become temporarily lost in the old tunnels, and repeated attempts to reach dispatch have ended in failure. The animal sounds I heard, bef uh, heard before have begun to approach again, and I fear that I may be hunted. As a precaution, I have holstered my weapon. Unholstered my weapon. Undoubtedly lost, I may have traveled deeper into the old sewers. Something is following me. I know it. Can't reach dispatch. Battery is running out in my flashlight. God help me, saw creature. Some sort of monstrosity. Teeth and blood. Can't get out. No more light. Can't reach anyone. Please, oh God, what is the writing trails off? Spat splattered with what looks to be blood. Yeah, again, who's writing like, God help me or whatever? Or what is that? Like, as you're seeing it, what is that? Like, you're not writing, you know? It's it's weird. Okay, this week, this looks to be the weekly log of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. Reports concerning the recent hauntings in the sewer system have prompted the mayor to request a weekly log of all operations in the lower sewer sections, 453 to 500. Log begins today. Nothing to note. Although I will say that I found the stories to be unsubstantiated and ridiculous. Both investigative teams this week reported nothing of note, although one individual, who may be apt to nip at the flask more often than not, noted that he heard what he could only describe as whispers in one of the sweeps along section 476. Undoubtedly, these were the product of an overactive and thoroughly soused imagination. Nothing to report, operation is normal. Things have been hectic with the recent rash of sightings in sections 498 and 499, although mostly described as shadowy figures. The reports come from men who, whose word I trust. Discounting the usual stories about underground societies of displayed vagrants and rabid blind pets, I'm at a loss to explain these observations. I will join the teams tomorrow to see for myself what is going on down there. I've traveled with the team down into the sections in question, and I must admit that I saw and heard things that I could not explain. More than once, I heard the same whispers as described before, and I chased what I thought to be a figure down a corridor, only to turn the corner and find myself facing a brick wall. What looked to be an older section of the sewers that had been sealed up. There was no one in sight, although I could have sworn I heard laughter echoing in the darkness around me. I will be forced to, find my, to report my findings to the mayor himself on Friday. The mayor has sworn us all to silence concerning these new sightings, but has promised us an answer concerning a course of action within the week. Inquiries about the previous LADWP records and reports have met with strange resistance. It seems they have been sealed off for official reasons. Something is amiss down here. We received word from the mayor today that sections 475 to 500 will be sealed off permanently, and that no further inquiry into the matter will be tolerated. I have a few connections at the front office, and it seems that something like this has happened before. It's something that the city council doesn't want to become public. My contact said he couldn't say any more, and that if I said anything to anyone, he would deny any knowledge whatsoever. The sewer sections closed tomorrow, and the city engineers have bricked up the corridors that lead to them. This office falls within section 482, so it'll be closed off as well. As no one has requested the ledgers, all materials and records concerning this will be left down here to rot with the ghosts. Sorry about that, but as no official eyes will ever see this, I figured I could wax dramatic on this last day. Log closed. Interesting. So they've known about this for a while. I saw that. Okay, I'm assuming this is where I have to go. Oh, this leads to the regular sewer systems. I think. Mm, I can't get in there. What am I doing? What's my... Okay, so I'm supposed to be looking for the Nosferatu. Interesting. So I have to go back down.
many points do I have anyway? I have 32 points. Okay. Um, research nine. Is it worth it? Okay, you know what? Let me, let me see if I can even do it. Hang on. So it was scholarship. So do that, that, and intelligence. No, I can't even do it. Okay, you know what? I want to raise my disciplines because I haven't done that yet, except for presence. raise one point in the strength and one point in the perception. Yeah. I like that. I'm just looking to see if these holes go anywhere. These guys' hitboxes must be huge, because I don't know how I'm hitting them. So I'm guessing I need to go through one of these holes. Let's go through this one first. Huh. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's weird. Oh, this is bringing me out to the other side. Fuck. Oh wait, past the thing? Yes. Is there a thing there? No, there isn't. I'm not gonna lie, the the singing is kind of creepy. That was the right thing to do? Yes, I think so. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Oh, hi. Oh. Okay, 
me. You you hang out there. To do something. Or I need to go up there. Wait a minute. I will take it. I'm so smart. See? That's what you get when you pump up your intelligence. is one in every hole like come on fuck off where the fuck am i And by the way, I'm I'm well aware that I did not pump up my intelligence. Cause I know I'm probably gonna get a comment or two saying like, uh Okay, no, seriously, where the fuck am I? Well... Uh, I, I have no idea what happened there. says. 
Uh, okay. So pump 118A. So it was four letters. Um, fuse. Shock is five letters. Um, spark is five. password in here, because it's said electrical room. Come on. Okay, I will take it. Is this where the Nosferatu have to go every time? It's like, this is a lot of work. Just go to a hideout. Oh my god, stop. I can't... Okay. Stop it! Yeah, so this is the wrong place. I need to go to the other one. Yes, they need to be flooded. <clears throat> so I guess the water would be higher and I can reach the, the ceiling. Oh, fuck off. I think vampires don't need to breathe, eh? You can do it, bro. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm guessing we need to go this way. I'm sorry about the camera. I, it's the camera's like being very weird. Oh, that a turd. Uh, okay, I guess we're fighting. Oh, okay. 
thought he was some kind of a boss. Oh, Lordy. Another ledger. Okay, if you guys want to read it, I'm not going to read it. You can just pause and... Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm assuming this goes back out. Yes, it does. So I guess the reason for these is to, like, in case you wanted to go back up top to resupply. I guess that's what those were for. Because we've been down here a while. You know what I, I just realized? A house from the Hollywood Hills led us all the way to the sewers. Like, there was actually an entrance from the basement. A double door entrance, no less. Uh, I'll get back to that door in a minute. I'm feeling this area is a dead end. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, something's gonna happen. So I'm going to use a bag of blood. I will actually use two bags of blood. But yeah, there was a like a set of double doors that led us literally into the sub uh, the sewers. Give us the difficulty.
What the fuck is that? Okay. Thankfully, it's not that hard. Yeah, that was uh, just a little disturbing. Oh no! It's clunk! They got clunk! Oh, they got more of them. Uh, that one was... Trunk. Punk. Yeah, that guy deserved it. He was a punk. Oh, there's more. Uh, Badunk. That's, okay, whatever. I'm done. They got the whole family. We'll have to break the bad news to, to Officer Chunk. I can't move. Oh, now I can move. That was weird. Um, okay, what am I doing? Oh, do I come here to like, get away from it or something? Okay, but now that it's dead, what do I do? Oh, I need to go there. How? Do we shoot the, the bullets? Shoot the bullets. How do we go there? Do we need to raise the water somehow? I'm guessing I'd die if I fall in there. Ah. Nope, that did not work. Okay, I guess I'll fucking try to jump. Oh, there's a ledge. Yeah, okay, okay. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a ledge. There we go. Probably better do this in third person. Shit. Oh, not that bad. Wee. Considering how far we fell, that actually was not that that bad. Oh my God, they're down here too. Another one of these. Okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Let's use our elder... Actually, you know what? Oh, fuck off. No. Fuck those things. God, this place is a fucking maze. I have a sneaking suspicion we're actually going the right way, so I'm going to head back and see what areas we missed. Oh. So that was a Nosferatu we just saw. Fortunately, it looks like they, they killed her. It looked like a her. By the way, the reason I'm going uh, Brawl is because I think our Brawl and Melee are the same. And I just want to see if it actually did feel like the same. You 
know what? I think Brawl may be a little bit faster than using a weapon. Oh, fuck me. not healing me as much. I'm actually really glad I stocked up on bullets and shells when I did. Okay, so this area was pointless. Alright, let's head back. Okay, I'm going to save here. regular revolver bullets then. Fatal errors occurred, you should be panicking now. Your system will now explode. It is now safe to go to a happy place. Press C and key to help others learn to read. Press control, control, control to donate money to me. You know the computers will take over. Why fight it? Hilarious. Isn't that hilarious, guys? That's so funny. Please tell me this whole shit's over. I definitely hear someone talking. Oh, 
Okay. This episode has already gone on way too long. Uh, I'm just going to save here. Um, no idea where we are, but we'll uh, we'll continue it in the in the next episode. This has been a very, very combat-heavy episode. Uh, I did not anticipate it to go on as long as it did. Um, and I don't know why in every fucking game there has to be a sewer level. And it's always the longest fucking level in the game. Like, seriously, can anyone name me one game, one fucking game that does not have a sewer level? And it's like the most annoying level as well. No one ever says, like, hey, remember that game? That sewer level was fucking awesome. No one ever says that. <sighs> Regardless. Uh, it looks like we're out of the sewers and into some kind of, I don't know, uh, a, a post-apocalyptic sewer level. I don't, I don't fucking know. We'll find out in the next one. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.